Revenia. Another mystery to discover. If I don't find a way to cover it, then my hours will I wonder how we'd get into Black Bay. Not that I want to go in, mind you. Revelio. Venia. I heard Professor Weasley transfigured the book with all her test answers into an owl to stop students from cheating. Taking owls a bit too literally, if you ask me. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor? Yes, the transformation spell. But first, I'd like you to carry out a couple of tasks which will help you to complete your field guide. Attend my transfiguration class once you've done them and we can begin the lesson. Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do.
beautifully done. Class is dismissed. And remember, now is not... Ease off your studying. will be here before you know it. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making excellent use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you can brew an impressive Edurus potion. Hopefully, you won't need it anytime soon, but it is a valuable potion to have when it is needed. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumours of your extracurricular activities? Was your extended conversation with Mr. Ollivander after you'd obtained your wand, or subsequent search of the Owlery, connected in any way to Professor Fig? Professor Fig has encouraged me to explore when I can, in uh, an effort to complete my field guide. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. If you wish to practice the spell you just learned, the training dummy is available. Hello, Gareth. So, has your aunt been taking it a bit easier on you lately? Unfortunately, no. In fact, a few days ago, she gave me a detention. I was only testing a new recipe in a mostly empty classroom, and the fire was put out quick enough. You don't create anything worthwhile without setting a few things on fire. Agreed. Innovators like us are unappreciated in our time. Can't let the doubters sway me. When they taste my latest brew, they'll forget their criticisms and the fires. It'll be bigger than butterbeer. Oh, that gives me an idea. Better write it down. Best of luck to you. My plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. Revelio. I remember Omnid mentioning something about gobbledygook.
Velio. Could it be a Merlin trap? Have you been? <laughs> Must be some student of Hogwarts that we could recruit. Spellbook can help her. I must find Velio. Requesting your help. Meet me outside of Feldcroft, near the catacomb.
Infringo! Revelio! Infringo! Revelio! Be somewhere in this maze. I wonder what else is in here. Infringo. This could be the Acromantula cave Mr. Adley mentioned. So this is the infamous Absconder.
So this is the infamous absconder.
Now that's taken care of. I need to bring this heirloom back to Mr. Adley. Behind strength, and you can't go wrong. It's when minds stand behind whimsy that castle. Huh. I'm sure it'll be harder to kill a moon calf. <laughs> Marvelous strike! Running home!
not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Ah, you look none the worse for wear. Oh, I take it you decided against entering the episode. Mr. Adley, I retrieved the heirloom pocket watch from Milo's body. <laughs> Merlin's beard! How did you? Actually, I, I don't want to know. I don't want to think about that acromantula ever again. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm glad Milo's daughter will have something to remember him by. I am too. As far-fetched as his schemes were, Milo was a good friend and I shall miss him. Please, uh, accept this reward for your trouble. What do you have for sale? Milo can rest in peace now that his wishes have been fulfilled and his daughter has something to remember him by. Ah, never mind replenishing my stocks. Pleasure doing business with you. Ah, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate your business. Revelio. Rebellion. Mine now, demiguys. Pardon me, sir. Come to stare at the fool, have you? There's poor Ig Haggerty, robbed by his own sister. Ah, she's robbed almost everyone now. So, who's the fool? I... I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Then you're the only one who doesn't know about Catherine running off with that thief, Victor Rookwood and his lot. Good riddance, I said. Never thought she'd return a steal from me. But us, but I just know it was her. I want her caught and sent to Azkaban for stealing a prize family heirloom, sister or no. I could keep an eye out for the thief, sir. You? Ugh. 
Nothing to be done by the likes of us. This is a job for the fine officer singer or some such authority. Besides, the thief, my sister, only strikes at night. Coward. Long past your bedtime. What do you have for sale? Glad you were... I'd keep an eye on your belongings if I were you. Crattering will steal the eyebrows off your face, she will. The pile of gold. I must be on the right track. It looks as if the thief took more than they could carry. More gold. I must be getting closer. you to learn the error of your rebellion. in store for me this time. There's no telling what lies in wait for me in there. You're here. Good. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned. I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them. So I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we've finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't, I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. That was it, and the rest of the tomb will be insect-free. 
Spiders aren't insects. Don't start. Opening all of these is tempting. We're here for a reason. I'd say opening them all is just as well. This room is taller than it looks. Now this is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. Something here by the altar. What did you find? That's a lot of bone rattle. Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced a space beyond the Great Room, which means this can't be a dead end. I have the report if you want to have a look. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. 
It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Look, bones stacked oddly on either side of this archway. Hmm. Leave no stone unturned. Or, in this case, no bone. Yes. You've done it. I knew we'd get through. I felt it in my bones. Nice. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. Go. Something troubling ahead. Be on your guard. Confringo! Sendo! Another barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. How gracious of you. I try. Confringo. Hmm. This looks different than what we faced before. Now we're also in the Stupid 
never knew spiders could make such a mess. Bit dramatic, isn't it? Can bring them. Accio. Revelio. Accio. Can bring them. This catacomb has suffered decay, just as the student summary described. I doubt anyone's been here in quite some time. Perhaps we need to pull the handles in the order of the symbols on the tablets. That worked. Keep going.
You are head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. Revelio. I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. There, I thought that'd never end. Dead end. Lovely. All that for nothing. Hold on. Don't give up yet. Sebastian, the relic! Look! Could it be? The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea, but we're here for the relic. The note advises to leave the relic alone. I assure you, we were meant to find this. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. I must keep this relic secret. Especially for my uncle. Is that... Ominous? Ominous! The sounds we kept hearing. It was you! You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine. But Ominous knows. I won't step back from a fight. I can't believe this. How much did you hear? Everything. I was glad to hear you tell Sebastian to leave the relic. We need to stand together. Convince Sebastian this is wrong. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. You're right. This seems far riskier than Sebastian realizes. Good. We're agreed. We don't allow him to leave here with the relic. I do think we should talk to him, but I fear we won't stop him from taking the relic. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we negotiate. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken for a fool. You're not, Ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The Dark Arts seem harmless until it's too late. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. I hope I don't regret this. Sebastian, we're ready. What is it? 
I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous? I'll explain on the way, come on. Well, what happened back there? Ominous and I found a compromise. Ominous simply needs a moment with you and he'll change his mind. Is that it? I told him we ought to give you this chance, that the relic is too important to ignore. There has to be more to it than that. Tell me. We agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. You have my word. I never wanted to... Confringo! He just doesn't understand. And I did want to worry him all over again. Finding a chest in an inconspicuous loft. Rebellion. As we were leaving, Ominous wouldn't even acknowledge me. That's not like him. He was troubled, Sebastian. Even though we agreed to it all, it's been a lot to take in. I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important for Anne. When we get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like ominous. It had only upset her. Ha oh no, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke, over there, by the hamlet. Feldcroft's in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry.
You'll not win here. Please. Still an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. <laughs> what did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. There was little time to react, but it was an unforgivable curse. I acted in the moment. That's all. I shall make my uncle see reason. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. Revenia. What was he thinking? Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian acted rashly, but he acted out of instinct to save Anne. Out of instinct? With an unforgivable curse? This family does not resort to using dark magic even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Why, Sebastian? Revelio.
Up for a bit of dying, are we? So much better. It's a relief. All those to new find the expensive tools we bought. When you need them on platform nine and three quarters, you are just not going to save us. I can't believe we found ourselves trapped in that scriptorium. Never again. 